Uh, my name's Calvin. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say uh, 0. I think addicted would not be the right term. I think I'm living in watches. I, I personally think the best story I've got is the one I'm wearing tonight. It's a Blancpain uh, 2009 Our Evolution Super Trofeo. So it's the first time Blancpain and Lamborghini has ever done a crossover. F185 movement, one of the best integrated auto, um, chronograph movement in the world. I distinctly remember back in 2009 when I saw this watch in a watch shop, it blew my mind. I always said to myself, if I ever made it, I'll buy it, right? And it didn't happen. So for many, many years, I couldn't afford it. So um, I, I started collecting watches. One day I, I was telling my wife, I said, you know what, maybe I should buy that watch that I always wanted. Obviously it was, it was discontinued. So I jumped on Chrono24 and it's not an advertisement. And I saw one for sale in London. So I bought it and I had the watch shipped to Shanghai for me. Um, little I know, secondhand watches are subject to tax. So the watch was sitting in, a, in the customs for about a month. I had to explain that I didn't know the circumstances and that, you know, please don't hit me with a fine and a, and a, and a tax evasion charges. So eventually they decided they can let my watch go back to England. And it was shipped through a certain logistic company, which I will not name. Two months gone past, my London shop has never received a watch. And then one day I was browsing around my friend's second-hand shop and I saw my watch. So somebody at that logistic company has stolen my watch, sold it into the second-hand market, and it had the same serial number at the end. So, uh, long story short, I had to chase it back um, and, and eventually got my watch back. I found out eventually who stole it and I tracked that person down, confronted him and I got my watch back. So, that was a pretty cool story.